Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Auto's HQ. Um, it's the next day <laughs> from this monster um, of a day yesterday. Got so much done on this. Stayed really late. Um, really sort of want to get this back on the road for Tom. But we have got to get uh, a few bits and pieces to do on the back end still. We've still got to get the MOT done. I want to quickly run around and clean it. I know that Tom and his dad... Dave, they're going to clean the car anyway. They've told me, Mark, don't clean it because they're going to they're going to want to do it. But it's just I can't. Yeah, it's just me. I can't sort of let them go without actually, you know, really sort of <laughs> making sure that I'm happy and they're clean and they're up to scratch. So yeah, we want to get this done today for Tom. So let's get cracking. Let's do this. Right. Okay. So yeah, like I said. Really want to get this done today. There's no reason why we can't. Um, I think now, now the seats and all this is, you know, it's all back together. Um, it, you know, we should have a, a really good, nice little push today, and we should be good. So, but looking really, really smart now. We've got to do take off the wheels, and we've got to do the wheel arches. They're down there, so we'll put those on as well. Um, so yeah, let's just. Oh, it's the MOT guys, really, that I'm. Not concerned about because it's not. It's 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 had it's got a, it's um it's ha it had an MOT. Um, there's not many miles between the last MOT and this one. I've got to be honest. So, and there wasn't no advisories on the last one. So, I'm hoping that there's nothing come up. If there does come up on the MOT, guys, we are doing it. You know I will. So, but let's get cracking. <clears throat> let's finish off the rear, do the arches and clean up, hoover up. And then just go over it, check it, make sure everything's working, like bulbs. So I've got to make sure that the bulb in there is working. Is it that side or the other side? One of the sides. Um, I've got to make sure that that's working as well. So, yeah, let me set you up. Let's get cracking. Let's do this. Right, okay, so there we go, guys. It is all back together um, and all hoovered out and, cl and cleaned on the inside. Um, we have still got to do the outside clean, but that's not going to stop us putting it through for the MOT. So I think what we'll do next is get it, get it through the MOT. When I come back, I'll show you the results. Hopefully, fingers crossed, no issues. So bear with me for now, and then I'll come back to you soon. 
So, right, okay guys, I am back from the MOT Centre with Tom's car. Um, looking very nice and clean as well. Very nice and tidy. So he's going to be well happy with that. <clears throat> Let me show you the results on the MOT. As per usual, guys, no advisories. That is what we want. I spoke to Dave, um, Tom's dad, earlier, and I said to him, uh, yep, no advisories, straight through. He went, that's what we want, no advisories. <laughs> it's exactly what we do want. So, yeah, another one done um, and another one um, sorted out for someone. So, there we go. Right, now, guys, I am off to deliver and drop off this Porsche. Um, it's not for me. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a customer's car. Um very very old Porsche um, and yeah he just wants me to drop it off for him up at a 928 Porsche considering the age look at the actual electrics he's got with it and everything look it's a bit worn <laughs> the seats and stuff but what do you expect from such an old car but yeah gonna drop this one off um, up to Colchester so what I did was I knew I was dropping this off this afternoon, um, so what I did was I managed to win another new project at Colchester Copart. So, yeah, I'll be dropping this one off, picking another project up whilst I'm up there, and then bring it back down. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sort of just doing two journeys or wasting a journey. I thought if I could win a car up that way, Colchester, um, then someone's going to pay me to, to, to drop this one off then I can pick up the new project and it's not cost me nothing to pick it up. So yeah, what a result. <laughs> so um, in fact, yeah, I, I might even show it in today's video. I don't know yet. Let me see how much time I've got, but let me just get up there, drop this one off, pick the new project up, get back. And then um, Tom wants to, that one's going Friday as well. That's been here for a few months now, isn't it? That's, that's been done for ages, but it's been sitting around here because obviously it's, it's for their, their, their son's birthday present. And his birthday, I think, is in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, I think that's going... Uh, that's being picked up on Friday. Um, and then, yeah, Tom's going to come and pick his car up uh, this afternoon as well. And uh, he can get back on the road. And he's going to love driving this around. It's a really nice one. It's only a 1.2. His other Fiesta was a 1.6. So it's going to be a little bit less, you know, on power. But definitely less on insurance um, and running costs. Even though that 1.6 he had before, the blue one, that was a diesel, so he's probably getting a little bit more miles out of it. I'm not quite sure uh, the difference of it. But yeah, there we go. Right, bear with me, guys, and I'll be back to you soon. So yeah, see you in a bit. Right, okay, guys, I'm back from Colchester. So let me show you the new project I've just picked up from... Colchester Copart, um, I won it at half 12 and <laughs> dropped that Porsche up to Colchester and whilst I was up there, I picked up this new project for the channel for us to fix and I'll show you what it is now. Yep, we have another Ford Cougar. So this one is, it's a nice one actually, it's a little bit newer. This one's a 2010 um, you can see the damage straight away. This is where it is on the side here. This is why it was wrote, wrote, writ off. Um, believe it or not, 
this actual damage has caused more damage because of the way it is. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But what's basically happened is that the doors have been away from the seals and water has just been running into this car. Both sides, this as well, it's come away as well. So the water's been running into the car. Um, I can't open that one until we open this one. And now, as you can see, we've got water everywhere because the, the, the doors were sort of not shut and they weren't sealed. So you can see, I can see exactly what's happened. The water's just running down these, around these seals and running into the car. Um, and obviously, you know, we don't know how long it's been sitting around for. So now we've got, um, I know that it's not up here because it, this, this ain't wet. The top part up here, it's just this part, this part, this bottom part's wet as well. So we've got to take these seats out and we've got to find out, you know, we've got to clean it up basically. I'm going to speak to um, Mark, one of my followers, one of my subscribers. Um, he's got a humidifier. I'm sure he'll be watching this video and he'll be reaching out to me and going, yep, yeah, course, Mark, you can borrow my humidifier. So we've got to, yeah, we've got to get this, we've got to get this sorted out and, um, you know, get all the water sucked up. Believe it or not as well, this is a Cat S. This car is a Cat S. Do you know what? And I, when, after I won it, I was looking at the pictures thinking, oh no, that pillar behind them doors that, that pillar is going to be all caved in there's going to be loads of work there's going to be loads of structural work to do but i can't find apart from the old scuff there is no damage to this bodywork no damage to this pillar i can't find and see anything no damage to the seal this trim has been picked off popped off so um and that's in the boot i've already checked but no damage to none of this. I've got to check underneath. I've got to be honest, I've got to keep doing a few more checks. It looks well straight underneath there. That seal. Very, very strange why this was um, categorised as an S. Can't be because of that little bit there, can it? It's obviously pushed in there. Can't be because of that. Nah, can't see it. So trim, trims obviously popped off. You've got two trims, one for the bumper and one for the arch. They're both in the boot because I've checked. But uh, apart from this side, let me show you the rest of the car. <clears throat> so it is, a yeah, like I said, it's a 2010 uh, two litre uh, diesel. This side's really clean, like really, really clean. Um, alloys are super, super clean. There's no scuffs on these alloys. They're like brand new. And by the time I clean them up, they're gonna look really, really good. Discs are really good. Loads of tread on them pads. So discs and pads are fine. Um, but yeah, what a lovely little car. So yeah, let's continue. Um, Let's have a look inside. Again, it's really clean. Apart from the, the obvious water, the sift we've wet up. Um, the seats are really good. It's nice and clean. It is the titanium version. It, we have got two keys. Two keys. Titanium. On the button, starts. Let me show you the mileage. You're going to be well impressed with this. Eighty-four nine four five. Eighty-four nine four five. That's so good, isn't it? Um, two keys. We have got some uh, paperwork. I'll show you that paperwork. Comes with the booklets, service history as well. Let me show you that. I just see another one actually. What's that doing over there? Oh, that's 21. Um, yeah, let me show you the service history. <laughs> Full service history as well. Last service. 
2203 uh yeah the 22nd of the third last year done 76,000 miles and that looks like they're, they're all Ford dealerships aren't they these are all Ford dealerships these are main dealer service histories these are don't know why that one's over there but these are all main dealer and that's a main dealer stamp Last one was a main dealer. 84,000. And the last one was 76, 2022. So probably due a service, I've got to be honest. So we'll probably be doing that. It's coming up with information as well. Something to do with information. Can't really get out of it. Oh, there we go. Messages service oil so yeah it's just it's doing a service oil so we'll do that guys won't we yep so yeah a nice little cougar turn it off um the other good thing about this car as well that i've that i've noticed this actually come with the logbook, the V5. Um, so we've got two keys. It's a titanium version as well. So it's got, it's, you know, it's, it's fully loaded. It's got all the gear. Um, full service history, two keys, low mileage at 84,000. And let me show you the logbook, the V5. One owner from new, this car. One owner from new. Unbelievable, unbelievable. This car is just such a great, it was such a great find. Um, obviously, I didn't know that it come with, um, I knew it come with two keys. I didn't know it come with all the service history, the booklets. Uh, I knew the mileage. Didn't I knew it come with a V5, but I didn't know it had one former keeper from new. Um, I, I just get really, really lucky with some of these cars, you know. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's going to be a lovely quick flip for someone. Look, we've got, even got a spare Ford key ring <laughs> in the glove box. Yeah, we've got the locking wheel nut as well. So, yeah, what a lovely little car this is going to be. So, yeah, we've got to start work on this soon. I've already found, I've already found um, the doors in colour as well. <laughs> so, it could be even quicker. It could be really, really quick. We've got to check this this wing. I think we have to change this wing out, you know, like it's split there. And I don't want to be messing around with that. If I could find one in colour, that'd be perfect. We can just zip this all off. We're gonna to have to find it looks like just a cover missing. On this, just a cover. Was that broke there? Oh, that actually looks like it's broke. So we might have to change the wing mirror. It works. It's just got electric folding mirrors, actually. I don't think these come with it, did it? Let's have a look. No. No, I think, think it's got electric folding mirrors. So, yeah. What do we think, guys, of the new next project that we've got coming soon? Um, it's got the split tailgate as well. You press that one, opens the top part. We have got some bits and pieces in here. Like that. See that there? Looks completely soaking wet where that there the water was running through. Got the wheel arch. Oh, that's the cover for the... That's a bit of cover for the actual wing mirror. Got the wheel arch trims, a little bit of oil as well. 
So that's geared. Brand new spare wheel with the tools, I think it's got tools in there. Yeah, it's got a jack underneath there. And we've got the, the funnel as well for the diesel funnel. I tell you what, I do like these cars, these these cougars. They're quite a popular thing, aren't they? Once I've cleaned it all up, this is going to be a lovely little car for someone. Cheap as well. Cheap. Um, not sure about price at the minute. The, the last one I did, it was a 2008. That black one I did, um, that was a 2008. And it was roughly the same sort of mileage, about 78, 79,000. So close mileage. Um, and I sold that for £3,000. So three grand I got for that black one. This is 2010. Uh, so it's newer. And, uh, you know, a couple of years newer. It's got the, it's, the, it's the nice white one as well. It's got the blacked out tinted windows on the, on the rear. I keep trying to do that, don't I? It's twice I've done that. <laughs> I didn't do it like that. So, but yeah. It's a, it's a nice clean car. It's a really nice clean car. So, again, guys, got really, really lucky, especially with this Cat S damp. You know, they reckon it's damaged. It's not. It's not damaged. So, it just shows you um, the insurance companies, again, got it wrong. But we see it time and time again, don't they? That, that's, that's the original. I've checked the side, both sides. So, the other side, I'm comparing it. They, all these little things like this, they, they're, they're there. They should, they should be there. So, yeah, it's a case of just undoing the two bolts, undoing the connector, and the doors will just pop off. Swap them over. <laughs> I need to get them doors done because look at, that's what I'm saying, look at this water. Look, it's just pulled pull up in there, look. It's just, yeah. I want to get these seats out. I want to get the carpets done because it's laying at the bottom. And, um, you know, we, I want to get it all sort of dried up as well, dried off. Shouldn't take us long, this one. Should be quite a quick one. Oh, you can't see down here, but it's, yeah, it's like loads of water down there. So I really want to get this, um, get this water out if we can. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I think the water is just running down. Yeah, because it's got channels. Runs underneath this bit, underneath this bit here. You've got channels that run down here. So it's run, it's run both sides. So we have got to get this, yeah, we have got to get this. Because I'm just checking. Because what had happened sometimes is that the, these are quite prone for the water running down the screen and it comes down behind the dash and then comes runs down here. But these carpets at the back here are, are completely bone dry. Someone's already tried to check to see what it is. And it is, it's completely bone dry. So where that water is coming from was those two side doors. Um not sealing properly so it's caused us some yeah it's, it's caused us some more not damage but work basically because it's going to take yeah water, water was just running in there the glass was up i'll put that glass down so the glass was up So we'll do a full service. We'll get this side sorted out. We'll get the inside sorted out. We'll clean it all up. And yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great little car for someone. So, what do we think, guys? Let me know. Drop me a comment in the section below. I, the package, the whole car package, like the two keys, the service history, the logbook, one one former owner, one owner from new. Um, it's just the whole thing. It's just low mileage as well. So it's definitely sort of been looked after, this car. And it's always had a service. And it's always been looked after. So let me know what you think. Don't forget, guys, drop me a comment and give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. See you soon.